So along with inserting, um, deleting, selecting is also update. Often we want to change a value in a row, uh, and by and doing that's pretty simple. We just say, uh, let me just do it down here. Update customers. We say set, uh, and then we want to do the column name here. We can do more than one expression. Let's do company name is Newmont. Um, contact name is Jamie. Now, if I if I just ran this query as is, uh, it would go ahead and update every single one of my rows that would set their company names to Newmont and their contact names to Jamie, which is probably not what I want to do. In fact, generally, like I showed on the delete video, um, I want to misspell update just so I don't accidentally run this while I'm formulating my query. Uh, let's do a where. Where? Where what? Uh, let's just pick one row to pick on here. Let's do this blahs row. So, row. so where customer ID equals BLA, is it A? Yep, AUS. And I could do an expression here like customer ID greater than blahs and affect half the table or more than half the table. But anyway, and basically this where clause determines what's going to get updated. So let me change this back to an update. Let's run this update. Notice blahs here is a bunch of words that I can't uh, say. And then Hannah's, Hannah Moose. Okay, run it. One row affected. Uh, again, select is the only thing that returns a value, meaning a table. Um, up, insert, update, and delete. They all, they don't do anything. That you just see how many rows were affected. Basically, if you do an insert, how many rows were inserted, or if we do an update, how many rows were updated, and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's select Splat from customers again. And we see that Blas is now Newmont Jamie. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, at least I hope it is. Again, we could we could put any kind of expression out here. Like I could set company name instead of Newmont. Let's set it to contact title plus uh, contact name. We can do expressions like that. Let's let's run this and see what happens. There's Blas and it's sales representative Jamie, which is the contact title sales representative plus Jamie. This value is persistent, meaning that um, that it's not a derived value. We'll see later on we can make tables that derive values um, on demand. And th What it literally did in this case is it just took sales representative plus Jamie and stored it into this cell. So there you go. There's update.